Welcome to this mathematics lesson. We're going to discuss commercial exchange rates. Number 16. A tourist from United Kingdom arrived in Kenya with 5,000 sterling pounds and exchanged the money using the exchange rates below through an agent at a commission of 1.5%. So we have the exchange rates as shown in this table. While in Kenya, the tourist spent 250,000 Kenya shillings on accommodation and traveling and converted the rest into US dollars. Calculate the nearest US dollar, the amount of money the tourist left Kenya with. Therefore, for us to handle commercial exchange rates, we should know or remember the two acronyms that will help us. Remember, to convert Kenya shillings to foreign currency, we should use the selling column. That is a Kefose. Kenyan currency to foreign currency. We use the selling column. Then we should also know that to convert foreign to Kenyan, we use the buying column. And for your information, we multiply in this case and we usually divide in this case. Therefore, when we start now converting this foreign currency to Kenyan currency, we should uh, convert the foreign to Kenya by using the buying column and we multiply. Therefore, we're going to multiply the foreign currency, which is 5,000 with the amount in the buying column for that particular currency, which is sterling pounds. The buying column, that is 135.5 so we use a multiplication. Then something else we should know is that uh, this tourist is not going to receive all this amount. He's going to receive a certain portion of it. So we take, when we take 100 minus the 1.5 that goes to the agent, you get 98.5%. So 98.5% of this total amount is the amount of money that will be received by this uh, tourist. When I carry out the multiplication, then I'm going to have 6,673,000. Mm -hmm. Just a minute, let me check the multiplication again, 5,000 multiplied by 135.5 times 98.5 out of 100. Yes. So this is going to be 667. Sorry. 667. 337.5 Kenya shillings. Now this is the amount the tourist is going to receive, then he is going to spend while in Kenya. So we can get the balance by taking the total amount of money after conversion minus the expenses while in Kenya, that is 250,000. So after spending 250,000, we're going to remain with 417, three. 37.5. So this is the balance the tourist is going to be having as Kenya shillings. But now he has to convert this now to US dollars. For us to convert from Kenyan currency to foreign currency, we use the selling column and we're going to divide. Therefore, we're going to divide 417337. When we go to US dollars, this is the column, the row for US dollars. Now we go to the selling column, 101.30. 101.30. So it must be the selling column and we divide. This is going to give us 4119.82. But remember, it is to the nearest US dollar. So 41.20. US dollars. That is the amount 
is going to leave Kenya with. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share.